I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Come on, somebody. I open up my eyes this morning and I say, I give you glory, Lord. I give you honor and I give you praise. Somebody open up your mouth. Hallelujah. And say, Lord, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, I give you glory. Come on, come on, come on. He's here right now. He's here right now. I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise right where I am. God, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Come on, let it come. Let it come out of your belly. God, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. No matter what it looks like or seems like, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. You said in your word, in everything, give you thanks for this is the will of God concerning me concerning you so i give you glory i give you honor and i give you praise by the power of the name of jesus i speak this over you give god glory give god honor give god praise hallelujah mm. see there's no way possible you could be complaining giving god glory giving god honor and giving him praise so i want you throughout the day to give god glory to give him honor and to give him praise welcome everybody Welcome, welcome, welcome all of you that are joining us. God bless you and welcome to three days of prayer and fasting with Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. I believe by the power of the name of Jesus that God has ordained this special time, this special season of fasting and prayer to break the strongholds of the enemy. I believe that this time of prayer and fasting and dedication time in God's presence is bringing forth breakthrough is bringing forth healing and deliverance I believe God according to Isaiah 58 and 6 that this is the kind of fasting this is the new living translation this is the kind of fasting that God wants to free those who are wrongly imprisoned lighten the burden of those who work for you let the oppressed go free and to remove the chains that bind people anybody needs some chains hallelujah that bind you to be loose to be removed in the name of Jesus we thank God that as we enter in to this time of prayer and fasting being obedient to the word of the Lord by praying without ceasing by rising early to meet God we believe that as we make this sacrifice yes as we make this sacrifice continually Victor yes as you make this sacrifice completely Guzman as you make the sacrifice completely continually yes when we rise up early i'm speaking to you elder petra i'm speaking to you guzman belton tanisha victor his lady d tisa denise claire thea mary minister owens i'm speaking to you this morning god is saying to you as often as you get up and rise early to meet god you are setting your day you are setting your day in motion you are setting the course of your day that prepares your heart it prepares your mind it prepares your spirit to commune with the father throughout the day when we are fasting and praying it just not it's not your regular day people People of God is not your regular day we must understand that every time you rise early to be in the presence of God you are making a sacrifice to get to know your father you're making a sacrifice to be more endowed with his presence you are setting the course you are putting your heart and your mind and your spirit in the place to commune with the father and when every time you do this, I believe by faith, every one of you under the sound of my voice and those of you that will listen to me on YouTube, I'm talking to you every time you rise early to meet God on a continual basis. You are setting yourself up. You are setting your day up. You are setting the course of your day because fasting prepares your heart to receive of God. It prepares your mind. It prepares your spirit. 
And I believe that every time you wake up early, Claire, every time you make that sacrifice, Minister Owens, every time you get up out of that bed, you wipe your face and you say, you know, I'm meeting Jesus. I'm coming ready with my pad and my pen to write down whatever God is saying to me because I can't miss God in this season. I got to hear him clearly. Every time we rise early to seek God, I believe we're going to find him. The Bible says if we draw near to God, he will draw near to us. And when we draw near to him, the results are miracles. The results are signs. The results are wonders. Somebody say, I'm about to receive miracles, signs, and wonders in my life. I'm talking to you. You. Anyone that can hear me right now, I'm talking to you. God is setting me up. This three days of fasting and praying will result in miracles, signs, and wonders. It will result in the favor of God being released on my life. I trust and I obey and I believe that God is turning things in my favor. And I believe God that this is a transformation season for you, every one of you. This is a time of transformation. These three days of fasting and praying will transform your mind, transform your thinking, transform your heart, transform your will. And I believe God. We give him glory. We give him honor and we give him praise. Open up your mouth again. Say, God, I give you glory. God, I give you honor. God, I give you praise. That's it. That's it, Evelyn. That's it, Connie. Open up your mouth. God, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Hallelujah. That's it, Zia. I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you praise. That's it, Tisa. Open up your mouth. I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you praise. Doesn't make any sense for you to come on the line and not participate for what God is saying. He's saying, God, I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you praise. If you don't remember anything else that I say this morning, remember this. Throughout the day, I want you to declare and decree that I give God glory. I give God honor. And I give God praise. You have no room and no space to complain no place to be in anxiety oh ah, no place to be worrying and uptight about anything when you're giving god glory you're giving him honor and you're giving him praise father we say thank you we say thank you those of you that are up and being obedient those of you that may be here for the first time whenever we come we rise early to meet God on these three days. I want you to come prepared. Come prepared with your Bible open. Come prepared with your pad. Come prepared with your pen because as I give you the word of the Lord, as I give you scriptures during the course of the day, you can take the time to read them. Yes? The time that you will be having your coffee, you can read these scriptures. The times that you will be having lunch, you can read these scriptures. Yes? When you will have that coffee break, you can be reading these scriptures and feeding your spirit. I'm about to give you some information on the requirements during fasting and praying. I'm about to give you some requirements because we don't just go without food. We are on purpose. You hear me? We on purpose are following the instructions of our heavenly father. He didn't say, he said, he didn't say if you fast, when you fast and pray, come on. He didn't say if, he said when you fast and pray. Strongholds, come on. Strongholds, things that you've been trying to get rid of, that cussing demon, yes, that lying, that stealing demon, that sexing demon, things that you've been trying to get rid of for you, that lazy procrastinating spirit that has been over you, over your family for years, that spirit of fear that you need to break. I'm telling you, when you go on a continuous cycle of fasting, and pray, you can't remain depressed. You are breaking the bounds of the enemy. So I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Come on, somebody open up your mouth and say, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Hallelujah. I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. My mouth will be open unto the father today saying that I will give him glory. Give him honor and I give him praise. Do you have your pen yet? Do you have your paper yet? Did you not hear what I said? I said, I'm about to give you some requirements during fasting and prayers. Get your pen, get your Bible out, get your paper. And I'm telling you, I need you to take the time to read these scriptures. It's a lot of them. I'm going to repeat them slow. And then if you don't get them, you're going to wait to the recording to get the information. Okay, 
But what I want you to do is to be honest enough to get up now and to reap the benefits. You may not get all of them right now, but at least you have a few to be able to read throughout the day. Amen. You'll have a few to be able to read throughout the day. Again, these scriptures are going to replace, it's going to replace that coffee. It's going to replace that breakfast you would normally have. It's going to replace that lunch you would normally be having. And you're going to feed your spirit the word of God. And your spirit is going to be filled as you commune with the Heavenly Father. Again, these are requirements doing fasting and prayer. Just in case you didn't know, this is not a diet. We're not doing this to lose weight. Okay. We, if anything, we are doing this to gain weight in the spiritual. Come on. Hallelujah. We want to, oh, Jesus, we want to have some weight in the spirit realm so that when we wake up in the morning, demons are trembling. When we wake up, when we open up our mouth and we say, demon, you got to go, the demon leaves immediately. We want some weight in the Holy Ghost. We ain't trying to lose no weight in the physical. That's not the reason why I'm fasting. I'm fasting to be connected to my father. I'm fasting to stay plugged in. I'm fasting so my hearing, my hearing can be crystal clear. So here we go. The requirements of fasting and praying. One is do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. Do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. Do you hear me, Guzman? Do you hear me, Kim? I'm talking to you. Do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. Tanisha, don't you do it. Don't you do it, Denise. Do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. According to Mark 11, 25 through 26. Again, that's Mark 11, 25 through 26. Do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. That's Mark 11, 25 and 26. It's also Matthew 5, 23 through 26. Matthew 5, 23 to 26. And the last one I'm going to give you this morning is Psalm 66 and 18. Psalm 66 and 18. Are you listening to me? I'm talking to you about the requirements during fasting and praying. I'm waiting for you to be obedient. You hear what I'm saying? I'm waiting for you to get up out of that bed and just lit from listening to me to actually applying what I just told you. How about this? Won't you just follow instructions while you start fasting? How about this? Just follow instructions. Okay, I gotta go. I, I got too many things. I gotta get on the broadcast, so I gotta I gotta come fast. You didn't hear about the broadcast? Yes, we broadcast every Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. on our Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries page. If you didn't hear about it, join us. We'll be live at 6 a.m. in just a couple of minutes. So I gotta hurry up and give you these scriptures. Hello. So we do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting. That's number one. Number two, do not fast as a heathen. Do not fast as a heathen, according to Matthew 6, 7 and 8. Matthew 6, 7 and 8. Again, Matthew 6, 7 and 8. And 1 Kings 18, 21 through 29. Do not fast as a heathen. This is what the word of the Lord says. We're talking about requirements, doing fasting and praying. Do not fast as a heathen. Matthew 6, 7 through 8. First Kings 18, 21 through 29. And the last one for today, because we got to move forward. We got to get to the broadcast. Do not fast as a hypocrite. Okay. And I don't have time to expound upon it. I want you to take the scripture, read it and let the Lord minister to you. Do not fast as a hypocrite. According to Matthews 6, 5 through 6. Matthew 6, 5 through 6. Matthew 6, 5 through 6. And Luke 18 9 through 14 Luke 18 9 through 14 Luke 18 9 through 14 I'm talking about requirements during fasting and praying one do not regard iniquity in your heart while fasting two do not fast as a heathen and three, do not fast as a hypocrite I got some more information for you but I just wanted to give you these first three scriptures to meditate on throughout the day let me tell you when you begin to read the word of god during your time of fasting this is when i'm telling you you set yourself up for success spiritually 
There's such a thing as spiritual success. When you begin to feast on the word of God, it begins to transform your life. This is why sometimes it's so hard for many of you because the enemy do not want you to succeed. He do not want you to succeed spiritually. He wants you to remain defeated in thinking that something is wrong with you. You'll never be used. You have backgrounds. You have a past that will, will hinder you from being used by God. You have a past. People will never want to listen to you. You are so weak. You did this. You, you had a baby out of wetline. You uh, was in this adulterous relationship. You killed somebody. Yes, you was jealous of somebody. You stole. Come on. So many things that we don't tell anybody that's in the closet that keeps us from moving forward. You cuss people out. You have an anger problem. Something's wrong with you. You too fearful. Everything bothers you. You too anxious. Come on. We are going to be done with these things that keep us from being the men and women of God that he's called us to be in this last and evil day. Let me tell you, we give God glory, we give God honor, and we give God praise. Why? Because we are learning the requirements during fasting and praying, which we are becoming educated in the area of why we're doing this. We're not doing it just because Pastor Arlene said we're fasting and praying. No, 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 no. We're not doing it just because I said it. You're doing it because the word of God said it. Now, you may be joining this series because the ministry is, is given, and I thank God for that. But you need to understand why. You need the requirements. You need to understand why this why you're doing this. You don't just do stuff just because someone tells you to do it, whether it's your pastor or not. You have to understand why, okay? And even the, your pastor give you an assignment to do, why? Don't be afraid to ask why. We give God glory, we give God honor, and we give God praise. What is your declaration for today? We give God glory, we give God honor, and I give you praise. You cannot be complaining, giving God glory, giving God honor, and giving God praise. You cannot be in anxiety, okay? Anxiety is a word that has been uh, uh, just really uh, overwhelming the people of God. And so when you start getting in a spirit of anxiety, I, I give God glory, I give God honor, and I give God praise. Not, not, now how about this? Don't just say the words, do it. Don't just say, I give God glory. <laughs> Don't just say, I give God honor, I give God praise. Actually do it. Give God glory, give him honor, and give him praise. Don't just say the word, do the words that you're saying. Oh God, I bless your name. Father, we thank you for this time of prayer. Thank you for this time of teaching. Thank you for this time of teaching and declaration in your presence. Now, Father, as we go throughout this fasting, God, we thank you that you have taught us and we have learned this morning the requirements of fasting and praying. We thank you that this week will be more effective than my last because I have a better understanding. God, I thank you. This week, this time of fasting and praying will be more monumental for me because now I have a better understanding. Now that I'm reading these scriptures, I'm communing with the word of God throughout the day. I have a better understanding. I have a better understanding for just those of you that maybe you got on late. You didn't hear me say my name. I am Pastor Arlene. I am the servant leader of Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, and I'm so glad that you're here. Remember, we're here every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday until the Lord says the same. We'll be here on our conference line. The information will be at the bottom of our description, so you'll have the number. And also, it's on our page as well. We welcome you to fast and pray with us. And Father, we continue to say thank you for everyone that's listening to me now that rose early to be with me this morning in prayer. And those that will listen to us on YouTube, those of you, I want you to pray and I want you to share this information with those that are in need of prayer. Amen. And so, Father, I cover everyone by the power of the name of Jesus as they are fasting and praying. I cover them with the oil of your presence focus, determination. We rid the distractions of the enemy and we focus on you. We focus on your goodness. We focus on your goodness. We focus on your goodness. We focus on your good. Hallelujah. We magnify you. We focus on your goodness. We focus on your goodness. We focus and we magnify the good. In everything, we choose to be thankful for this is your will concerning us. 
Father, as we fast and pray these three days, I thank you for anointing us. I need you to get some anointing oil and anoint your head each day that you fast. Get some anointing oil. Anoint your head each day that you fast and cover yourself under the blood of Jesus. God, I thank you for covering me under the blood, my mind, my heart, my body, everything. By the power of the name of Jesus, I believe you by faith that you're doing this now. I believe by faith you, everyone under the sound of my voice, will not regard iniquity in your heart while you're fasting. I believe by the power of the name of Jesus, you will learn and understand that you will not fast as a heathen. I believe that as you read these scriptures and you meditate on them, you will not fast as a hypocrite. You will have the knowledge and understanding of the requirements that is necessary for you to use while you're fasting and praying throughout the day. Be very mindful of what you allow in your ear gate and your eye gate. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I got to run, go on to the broadcast. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. God bless you, everybody. Meet you on the line tomorrow morning at 530 a.m.